So uh, we looked at D3.js, uh, which is a JavaScript library for data visualization. Uh, the creator of it, um, Mike uh, Bostock, Bostock? Bostock. Bostock um, uh, has a really neat page um, where he shows uh, visualizations that might be stimulating to these patients. Um, so we'll just show a few. So there's a progression here, um, psychedelic. Um, this one is a variation on it. Um, a bit slower um, than the other one. Uh, but you can also see that there's a progression. And um, uh, I suppose the aha moment that we're looking for could be the completion of this. Um, so when it fills out the full rectangle, um, you could change the time. Um, the rate at which this fills, uh, perhaps the colors to um, be more red when they're positive or close to gray when it's more neutral. Um, sort of a, a little bit of more chaotic uh, visualization here. Um, let's take a look at this one. So it's a similar story uh, with this. And so these are all just basic variations on the theme. Um, we also let's see, we looked at Mandelbrot sets. Um, uh, it was oscillating Mandelbrot. Uh, Sensor X scanning. So this one has a progression up until right about here, probably. Um, after this, it becomes kind of imperceptible uh, what the progression is. Um, you know, maybe you could say that it's progressing towards the perimeter, but you can't really perceive that too well. Um, so we could go up to about 20 seconds here, um, you know, again, changing the rate, perhaps the color of the Mandelbrot set. Um, and I think Anthony found some Python libraries that you can uh, do that with. And um, we also had some ideas about using um, uh, insect metamorphosis, so a caterpillar going into a butterfly, for example. Um, uh, another idea was a uh, frog, um, you know, shooting out its tongue and capturing an insect. Uh, so you've got an aha moment at the end. Right. You have a progression, I guess. Um, and one that we looked at briefly, uh, but we're dissuaded from it, was uh, a shark attacking. Um, so we'll probably avoid that one. Nobody wants a shark to attack them. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, uh, those are our ideas, I think. Uh, oh, and there was one with a, a pool filling, uh, too. We could do a pool filling uh, or increasing. That was a good one. Yeah. So those are our ideas. Quick round of applause. I can't do that. <laughs> um, any questions? And with the manual board, you could zoom in on the center where it repeats. Mm -hmm. So while it's iterating, you would see more of the progression because you're zooming in. And then in the end, you would basically end up with the same fractal that yeah. you started out, which would be kind of the aha, like the full picture basically where you could arrive at. With that thing. And then it wouldn't stop, like because you zoom in, you see the more detail you create during this. That solves that problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like that idea. How big is the screen in the chamber? Uh, a screen that I say is about the size of a normal computer screen. Uh, I can get you the actual specific dimensions. Uh, but if you give me something that looks normal on a normal screen, that's approximately what it is. They're, they're just static images. Uh, who had the? It's going to take me a while to find it. Oh, okay. But um, any other questions in the meantime? Okay. Go to the next group. Oh, here's one. I just